Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're going to take a look at this snow machine, the Froggy's Boreas S4. If you've never used a snow machine in a production, uh, it can bring a really fun, whimsical ad to any show. Um, now, they're most often used at Christmas time, but I even had a customer last year, it was August, September, and they just wanted something funny to break up kind of a comedic moment in the show. And so somehow, I was not part of this conversation, and this was before I was brought in, but somehow uh, somebody brought up, hey, what if we just had snow, just ran a snow machine, right? And it was the most ridiculous thing ever, and it totally worked. It totally fit, and it was a great effect. So snow machines don't have to be for Christmas. Um, the Froggy's Fog Boreas XS4 is a great little machine, and I want to take a look at it, walk you through uh, some of the features it has so you can understand that, and make the best decision as to whether this would be a good machine for your use or not. Okay. When it comes to snow machines, you're going to find, especially on the lower end, uh, some will have DMX, some will not. Okay? Uh, that's one of the things I like first about the Boreas S4. So this is a pretty standard snow machine, um, meaning that it uses a bubble-type fluid in its tank. It shoots it through uh, a, a compressor. It comes out on this nozzle that has um, a little bit of a uh, fabric thing on it. And then it blows through that and that blows out snow-like particles, as you can see right here, okay? Um, those snow particles float through the air, and then they land. Now, being a bubble-type solution, that means floors can get slippery, so be careful um, and make sure you use caution and clean up effectively if you use a lot of snow uh, in a given moment, okay? Uh, let's walk through a few things I like about this machine, okay? So if we come around to the back here, um, on the menu itself, and I know you might not be able to see this well on the camera, um, there is a high-low fan option on the back panel, okay? The great thing about having a high-low fan option is noise. So a lot of snow machines, if they're not advertised as being a quiet or a silent snow machine, they make a fair amount of noise. If you have a PA system, if you have music, if there's noise around, um, you know, it can easily be loud in the snow machine, no problem there. But if you're in a quieter environment, having the ability to change the fan speed between a high and a low is really stinking helpful because then you can quiet it down, you get less throw overall, it goes less distance, but it's a lot quieter, okay? Uh, the thing I like about this is we've got DMX, we've got three and five pit, we've got a locking power input, which is great, it's a true one style cord. Um, got a nice DMX menu, heat, and then it heats up and then you can access the menu. Um, but what I also like is the Boreas comes with a remote as well. So not all the entry-level machines have a remote. And I love remotes for special effect type machines because I know that depending on your circumstance, you may not have a lighting person who's going to be triggering this effect, right? If this is in a community theater production, then you're going to take this remote, which has got a pretty long cord. I think it's like 20 feet or something. Um, and you, you can probably extend it, it's just a five pin cord, uh, MIDI style. So you get this cord, and then you have the ability to set it on a timer mode, uh, which is great when you're running it for like a whole song and you want to run a little, stop for a little, run a little, stop for a little, that's perfect. You can lock it in or do the manual mode where it just goes. Uh, and so your stage manager can run it backstage, an actor, you know, somebody else can run this from backstage nice and easy. Um, in terms of placement, um, there's a few ways to place snow machines that are really effective. Okay, snow machines work best and the snow works best when it is shot up in the air because it falls, okay? If you put this on the ground and shoot it upwards, um, you're going to get a pretty good effect. It's going to look like the snow blowers at, uh, you know, where they make snow, where you're at ski places, right? Um, you get a little bit of a cloudiness, and then it comes in the air, and it floats down real nice. Ideally, if you can get it hung, which of course there's a bracket, there's a safety cable uh, position on the unit, um, if you can hang it 
that's going to be your best bet. Uh, hang it, hook up DMX, you'd be good to go. As mentioned before, you just want to get that snow up in the air, and then those particles are going to hang, they're going to float, and they're going to fall. And that is what makes a great snow effect. So, if you're interested in making a great snow effect, either with the Froggies Boreas S4, or any of the other snow machines we've got, head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. We our gear experts would be glad to help you with any questions you have about any of these machines, about loudness, about fluid types. We're here to help you. Make sure you get the right stuff that you need so that you can make an incredible event. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks.